Hello and welcome to this webcast. I am Zedi. I have around 7 years experience in ERP, Dynamics 365 for financial operations and Dynamics AX Round 12. I am a techno functional consultant. In this video, I will give you a very precise overview of cleaner proteins in Dynamics 365 for finance and operations and at the end of the video I will share you a link from where I copied all these routines and at the end I will demonstrate you by running or experimenting a uh, uh, one of cleaner protein to see what just happened what how it perform how it takes time and what will be uh, its output in a different modules, Microsoft provided different routines which clear the historical data or delete historical data. With the passage of, de with, with the passage of time, historical data did not require. Uh, it is a common understanding after three or five years, historical data did not require. We are not, really companies are not interested in more than five years old or three years old data. Uh, in day-to-day -day jobs, sales, invoices, uh, procurement and inventory transactions, more than three years of four years old data did not require. And uh, as data increases, it, uh, it becomes a performance overhead for the ERP. So for that purpose, we have to delete the historical data. Best routine, uh, best pr uh, practice is that you have to create a data warehouse and see all historical data there. And uh, some other some people are taking backups and when required, uh, restore backup in a test drive or another to uh, verify the old data. Uh, and some places they use a data warehousing. And some um, some some people are doing some uh, different tools used to do uh, use different tools to uh, archive data. Uh, but we in this video we will we will explore some routines. Uh, that you, that provided provided by Microsoft to clear the historical data. But remember that these routines did not have a rollback. When we execute it, the whole data uh, will be cleared. Uh, so before uh, running these uh, these routines, first of all, you have to experiment on our test test environments, and before executing on a production environment you must be take backup and also take uh, confirmation from required department that the, uh, these sale orders and procurement inventory or general ledger data did not require they did not need any more more good that you have to some written proof that after some time if they claim you can show them that's a common ERP Microsoft provided different Clean up routines in different modules. Here is the list. I copied this list from Microsoft's own, uh, own blog. Here. So you can get that link from there. Uh, you, you can find uh, clean up routines for procurement and sourcing, sales and marketing. Uh, you can delete this sale orders, sales quotations, sales returns, and you can also clean up the ledger journals that which your organization did not need. And then you can also have a cleanup routines in inventory management, production control management. You can create, you can delete production journals, production orders, cleanups, and data warehouse management. Also have some cleanup links, and then data management. The system administrator administration module also have cleanup routines for clean. Clean routines to clear the notifications as a result of uh, different events or a workflow messages and then batch history. Uh, history, please buy. And this is the blog link from where I copied. So now we have to go for a Dynamics 65 for finance and operation environment. Before going to further, first of all, you have to take backup of your uh, database. I am on a one box on my win on my my own VM, so I am going to take a backup, and then I have to create it. Now we go towards experimenting our sale order deletion cleanup job. So for that we have to go in sales and marketing, then clean up and delete sale orders. And 
click on us here are some different options for example we can delete record with respect to of created date deadline customer account account type status and document status so i'm going to delete all this record which were invoiced i did not need any more all these records for experimenting purpose so i have to select all those criteria which i did not need and uh, and remove all these criteria and then i change the sale order all sale orders which are in y status as per our query uh, query criteria and now we have to go to confirm deletion and confirm delete delete and if you want to delete all selected records you have to click uh, on confirm deletion yes i want to delete all records so after deleting these records from clear uh, clear protein this takes a lot of time uh, but perfectly fine when we go in sales and marketing and all sale order we will not find any invoice record this this is the list page where all the sale orders are available in usmf uh, legal entity and if we go and search invoiced records we apply filter on invoice status no record available in usmf so this is the some experiment on cleanup routines in dynamics 365 for finance and operation this is an amazing feature and again i'm repeating that best practice is that either you have to take backup before applying these transactions uh, these, these cleanups and second is that you use uh, for historical data most of the organizations use data warehousing historical data more than three to five years old did not required in erp uh, that will be uh, that historical data uh, will be a great performance impact uh, on on erp systems so either we have to archive historical data or you or save these record in data warehousing be no more required on day-to-day uh, -day transactions thank you for watching see you in the next video